Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to evaluate a radical. So the word evaluate just means solve or simplify. So let's do a couple of examples. We'll start off by doing radical of negative 121. So negative radicals are always really scary. Um, so the way to solve this one is to remember that when you multiply two negative numbers by each other, they equal a positive number. And likewise, when you multiply a negative number by itself three times, it's going to be negative. So negative one times negative one times negative one is still negative one. But if you take negative one and square it, or just take negative one, multiply it by itself, then you're going to be left with positive one. So here we have a square root of a negative number. That means that the negative number is going to be left underneath the square root sign. But the rest of it, that 121, we can pull out. Now we know that 121 is 11 squared. So this is the same as saying it's the radical of negative 1 times 11 squared. So we're going to take this 11 squared and pull it out. So really what this is equals is 11 times radical of negative 1. And we know that the radical of negative 1 is the same as saying 11i. It's a an irrational number. So let's do another example. Um, we'll do the square root of 25 divided by 4. Here, once again, what we're going to do is um, convert it to a number that can be simplified. So in this case, we know that 25 squared, or I'm sorry, 25 is 5 squared, and 4 is 2 squared. Uh, by putting it in this form, we recognize that we can cross out all the squares and the radical sign, and what we're left with is 5 over 2. Okay, now let's move beyond square roots, and we're going to do an example with a cubic root. Here, our example is going to be the cubic root of 8 divided by 27. Once again, as before, we're going to convert this into a way um, that's easier to look at so we can see what we can simplify it to. So we're going to take the 8 and convert it to 2 to the third power. And we know that 27 is 3 to the third power. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to put that this is the cubic root. So before we were taking the square root, now we're taking the cubic root. That's why we converted these numbers to numbers to the third power. When we're taking the cubic root, we're converting the numbers to have the third power so we can cross out the powers as well as the cubic root. What we're left with is 2 divided by 3. So there you go. That is how you evaluate a radical. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.